feel very sad. I mean, I'm, I'm very sad that I, I will be, uh, no longer will be a member of the parliamentary party of, of Fine Gael, uh, the party that I've been in since I was 18. So I'm very sad. Um, but at the same time, I am kind of, I feel a bit relieved um, because this is obviously a, a huge issue that's been weighing on everybody's mind for months and months and months. Um, I, I, it's no exaggeration to say that I think an awful lot of people have really struggled yeah, um, yeah. to, to make a decision on how they would vote in this legislation. And obviously now five members of the Gaul uh, from my parliamentary party have felt that they just simply couldn't support it and uh, uh, are excluded automatically. Um, from our parliamentary party. So. You had a, a word with the Taoiseach on the way out. What did you say to each other? I just, I mean, I wished him luck. I, I, um, I've worked in his department for the last two years and, and nearly two and a half years, and we've had a great relationship. Um, I have the height of admiration for him and how he conducts his business, particularly on the European stage. He has uh, done a huge amount to re rebuild the, the stature and the credibility of this country, and I I think I hope that I have contributed to that with him. So I'm very sad. I mean, I love my job. Um, I've been very privileged to 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 perform um, my functions and my duties as Minister to European Affairs over the last few years uh, and more. And uh, it's it's very sad for me that that it's that's over. But that's you know I, I knew the consequences obviously when I voted for there this evening. Did, did the you root back into Senegal? What did he say to you inside yourself? in the chamber when you approached him? What did he say to you? Uh, well, I'm not going to. I mean, if he wants to, if he wants to, to tell you what he said to me, he can do that himself. I'm not going to speak to him. Just had a, a brief couple of words. Do you see a route back into Senegal for yourself now um, in the near future? Um, you know, it's hard to know what the future holds, to be honest. Um, I am a member of Fine Gael, as I said. I've been one since I was, uh, since I was old enough to vote. I will continue um, to work with my local organisation. Um, I have great supporters. I know that they feel very compromised now between their loyalty to me and their loyalty to Fine Gael. Um, but my assurance to them is that there is no conflict. Um, you know, I will be campaigning and working with all of our candidates for the local elections and European elections next year. We have to select a new candidate for, for Dublin to replace Jay Mitchell. Whoever that is, I'll be working with them. I'm, uh, I'm a constructive um, uh, team player. I, um, I believe that this country has a, have, you know, a lot of, the government has a lot of work to do to, to really get this country back on its feet. And I want to be part of that. Um, so I, 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 um, I, I hold no rancor or bitterness or anything like that. I'm very sad, but um, but I genuinely I wish independent and all of the government. Lucinda, can can, can, can Are you, you to resign from uh, your ministry, being as a junior minister? I, I think I, I'll have to do that, yeah, because otherwise it would it would uh, have to be delayed into the cabinet meeting. I don't think it would be in anybody's interest. Lucinda, do you, are you, I, do you f some of your colleagues said that they resented being put in this position where they had a general election commitment that they felt that they should honour and they resented being put in this commitment where they had to vote against that. Do you resent being put in, that put in that position? You know, I think life is too short to be resentful. Um, but I, I know my own mind, and I know that we made a clear commitment for the last election. I repeated that commitment. I meant it. I held it sincerely. And uh, unfortunately, this le legislation is a, br a breach of that commitment, and, uh, and that's why I couldn't support it. That's the bottom line. You know, promises uh, um, matter. And um, to me, I mean, in politics, it's, it's always difficult when you're in a coalition to honour promises, pre-election promises. But, you know, we have to strive to do that. And this is um, a, a promise on, a, on such a fundamental issue. There was no way that I could in any, any good conscience break this promise. Can, can you say, will you, will you vote with the government on every other measure to come before the I, House? I, I'm not going to, you know, um, start making um, rash comments here. I, um, my intention is to work betterment of this country. I'm a member of the Oireachtas, the 31st Gaul. I'm very proud to hold that office. I mean, some people say you're only going to be a TD. I'm very honoured to be a TD, one of the 166, probably too many in my view, but anyway. Um, and I think um, I can make a big contribution that way by proposing uh, policies, coming up with fresh ideas, and that's what we need in this country. We need people to think, to use their intellect, and not, you know, not to just always go with the flow. And I, I really mean that. We need to have good ideas emanating from our parliament to solve the problems that this country faces. And I will be playing my part in that. Some As people said, do you see yourself contesting the next election in three years' time? Do you intend to be a member of the parliament? I mean, look, I said before the last election that I never, um, I never really took any decision about the last election until a convention came up in my constituency. I 
I really do not want to be a politician that spends the five-year period between one election and the next simply campaigning to get re-elected. I've never been one of those politicians, and I don't intend to become one. Now, some people have suggested you might um, run for Europe next year. Is that something that might be on your mind? Absolutely moment? not. I can definitively tell you I have no intention of running for Europe. But whoever is the Fine Gael candidate, and I have some thoughts about who I'd like it to be, I will be giving them uh, all of my support. And any uh, thoughts on... There's been a lot of speculation about you leading a new party, setting up a new <laughs> party. Any thoughts no, on that? No, no, no. I have no, no, no such um, uh, grand ambitions. I'm just... Um, you know, look, this is a huge shock to me. I mean, I, even though I suppose I've known how I was voting, um, it's still a big shock to find that you're suddenly out of your party and, you know, have to carve out a new sort of existence in Leinster House. And that's what I want to do. But the first thing I want to do is just, you know, spend some time in my constituency, talk to my, to my friends, my colleagues, my supporters um, and my constituents and just you know, take a little bit of time to think and um, to, to regroup. We're all leaving here um, at the end of next week um, for the summer recess. I mean, not leaving, but, you know, the door won't be sitting to be less intense and pressurised, and I think that would give me a good chance to think about, you know, how things will, will go in the office. Listen, you're in a very liberal constituency. Have you spoken to your constituents? As how do they I feel am. about you voting against it? I've had uh, a huge amount of correspondence from constituents, and it's very mixed. Um, I think, um, you know, I suppose I, I don't necessarily always agree with the, the um, definition of liberal, which is sometimes accepted by the media, but um, I consider myself to be very liberal and progressive. I simply don't support abortion, and there are many, many people in my constituency who, who share that view, um, and many who don't, and I respect them all. But, you know, we have four TDs in Dublin South East. Um, three of them are in favour of this legislation. One of them is now not. Um, so, you know, I, I think that the, the minority also has to be entitled to have its, its view and its voice heard. Um, and I, I, I think that a lot of my constituents very much respect that. Respect the fact that I have voted according to my conscience here today. Um, and uh, many of them have contacted me to say that, even those who are, who are um, pro-choice. So it's, it's not necessarily as black and white as white as people might think. your conscience is not made by the president of the well, yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm elected. I, 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 um, I uh, was elected at the EPP Congress in Bucharest last November for a three-year mandate, and uh, I will be fulfilling it when it's awarded. Okay. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.